everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I know you guys miss my blonde hair. It's been like a hot minute since I actually came on camera looking this good. I know. But today, I'm bringing it back old fashioned. I have not done like a solid makeup tutorial for you guys over two months. And I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family because Come on guys, I love makeup, I love skincare. So without any further ado, let's jump into this video. And you want to see how I create this beautiful look, which I myself is amazed. How I could create this look, mm, you guys will be blown away. Let's roll up our sleeves and let's get this makeup tutorial started. Starting off, I'm going in with the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum. I'm applying that all over the face. This is amazing. And it is amazing for oily combination skin because it doesn't overly cake your skin and plus has that antioxidant thing that actually protects your skin from radical damage and is very good for your base. Okay, so next I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Capsule in the Serum. I really love this new launch from them. It's because when I apply this to my face, it just goes in so beautifully and keeps my face hydrated all day. My skin doesn't dry up at all. The perfect serum for oily combination skin. Next, I'm going in with the Tatcha The Silk Canvas Primer and this is my Ride or Die Primer. I've not stopped using this primer and it has not failed me guys. I'm like almost done. Look at the empty gap over there. I'm like scraping my way. This primer is a little bit pricey but Honestly guys, it is worth the buy if you're oily combination. Honestly, when I started actually using Tatcha Primer, I've not used any other primers at all guys. Besides the Benefit Pore Professional, Tatcha and Benefit, mmm. Two amazing primers. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 0910. This is one amazing foundation. It covers up everything on your face. Not only it's inexpensive, you can buy this in Watson's. Super amazing because it covers up everything on my face. What I want to cover up, it covers up. It's not that thick of a foundation where you can actually feel it on your skin. Once you actually blend it out, it goes on really beautifully on your skin, guys. You won't even feel that you have foundation. Just gives me the right amount of coverage. Like just now you saw I was a monster and now see, I'm turning into a beauty. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm going in with also my favorite concealer. I mean, ever since I bought this concealer, I have not put it down and I'm wondering why I have this concealer not run out yet. I love the coverage of this concealer and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer and I am in the shade 160 Warm 10. It doesn't crease underneath my eyes, it's the right shade for my, for my face. I go ahead and blend that out. I just want to look at myself and ask myself why can't I wake up like this, looking like this every single morning. Hmm. I wish I could. <laughs> so I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Mercier powder. This is my favourite powder of all time. I, no matter whatever powder I've used, I always go back to this powder because this is the best setting powder that I've ever used in my life. Doesn't fail me at all. I love this so much guys. I'm not even done setting my face and this part of my face looks absolutely amazing. What other powder can actually make you look this beautiful and it just sets into your skin. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Like for a photo shoot. First, we gotta get the brows done. For brows, I'm going in the Milani Easy Brow Eyebrow Pencil. It's because you do not need to put so much pressure on your eyebrows like this. And look at that. And that's not even pressure at all, guys. Like this, like this. Look at how easy the brow pencil goes. And you just like brush your eyebrows through. Moving on to eyes. Now I'm using the Morphe palette, which is the 35. M Boss Mood Palette has a lot of right browns, purples, greens. First shade I'm gonna pick up is called Peachy King, just to lay this shade at my crease area. 
peachy kin actually looks like this but it applied down so differently into my eyes I am stunned depending on your skin type how the shade is actually going to turn out that is pretty interesting wow next shade I'll be going in which is called top dirty because I like layering my shade I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade called Fire Up just to give it a little bit of an orange pop. Okay, that's the reason why we're actually doing this is because we're actually creating the nice and beautiful cut crease base and conceal my eye. So I'm going to just go ahead and use the same concealer which is the Milani concealer. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is called Bright Eyes. We're creating a halo look today. So I'm going to apply that to the inner and outer corner of the eyes. And then picking up this shade called Bold Moves. The last step is just defining the smokiness. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up the shade called Black Magic because it's a black shade. We're just going to look at how pigmented that shade is. Because the Black Magic in this palette is a bit strong. For the lower lash line, you saw I dragged the black all the way down but you do need to bring this over down here. Because your eye look from the top to the bottom have to be the same, both cannot be different guys. And just go ahead and take a new brush, just blend. For eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner because this just applies the eyeliner beautifully over the eyes and then for lashes I'm going to go ahead with this Adele Studio Effects Pro Designed Layered Lashes and it's from Adele you can actually purchase this from Sephora right now my eyes is open just close to see where is your lash line ending because you put it too far it will like drop down and make your eyes look droopy my lower lash line, I'm going in with my favourite mascara which is the Too Faced by the Sex Waterproof Mascara Under rain, under tears, anything, it doesn't come off at all guys. I'm going to actually use an eyeshadow shape to actually contour my face Using the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade which is called Top Dirty It looks pretty pretty dark Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, so let's go and actually blend this out. And because not only an eyeshadow can use for your eyes, but you can use it for your rest of your face. So for blush, I'm going to go ahead and use Candy Crush right here. Oh my gosh! Highlighter, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up Light of the Party right here to highlight my horizons. And then just picking up a little bit of the shade called Popstar. One right here. It's called Popstar. The center right here. Are you kidding me? This is like Instagrammable highlight, guys. Using this palette, I did my eyes, my highlight, my contour, my blush, all just using this palette. For lipstick, I'm going to go in with my favourite lipstick which is suitable for medium skin tone and this is the Dior and it's called Sophisticated Matte. Since this is looking so fire brick red. For the center, I'm going to go ahead and to like soften this lipstick up, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade. Shade, birthday suit and just apply it in the inner, inner side of my lips and just mix it together to set this entire face. I'm actually kind of loving the stay spray setting spray but this is so like micro fine you can literally not feel it. So yeah basically guys we 
are done and I absolutely love this makeup look. I mean, this is something that I have never, never done on my channel before. I truly hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.